41 Action News uncovered new information tonight about the murder-suicide of two Kansas brothers. Well, an newly released timeline shows a trail of warning signs, including written letters, texts, even emails, leading up to Robert Pruitt shooting his brother Todd outside his workplace. Well, new at 6, 41 Action News investigator Melissa Yeager shows how police tried to stop the attack from happening, but couldn't catch up to Robert until it was too late. Melissa? Well, the 41 Action News investigators have learned police were scrambling to find Robert Pruitt after receiving many ominous warnings from family and friends that he wanted to kill his brother. University of Kansas Hospital employee Todd Pruitt was gunned down as he arrived for work and mission. The shooter, his own brother. Robert Pruitt took his own life later that same day in a wooded area south of Kansas City. A timeline from the district attorney's office shows police received warning about threats from Robert as early as November 2nd, nearly two weeks earlier. That's when his sister received a letter from Robert saying he planned to kill his brother Todd and commit suicide. Police checked on Todd and his family and found them safe. Around the same time, Robert's landlord called police. Robert turned in his November rent check with a note that read, If I am dead, my wealthy mother will handle my finances. Police found other suicide notes in Robert's home and his parking stall. They also discovered he had stolen a blue Ford Fiesta rental car from Enterprise, but could not find him. Calls to his cell phone went to voicemail, so they requested his cell phone records. They tracked him to Grandview, but still could not find him. Police entered Robert into the missing person database, listing him as armed and dangerous. On November 3rd, police received another call, this time from Robert's ex-girlfriend. She contacted police and said Robert was texting her, threatening suicide. And on November 5th, Robert's mom received an email from her son saying, I know you think I'm insane, but there are times when suicide just makes sense. Law enforcement kept requesting cell phone records tracking Robert to Bethany, Missouri and Overland Park, but they were never able to catch up with him until it was too late. And police still don't know why Robert would want to kill his brother, although he was estranged from Todd and the rest of the family. Robert's ex-girlfriend told police he battled alcoholism and manic depression. A memorial service for Todd will take place this Saturday at Westside Family Church in Lenexa. The family has asked for privacy during this time of immense grief and heartache. I'm investigator Melissa Yeager, 41 Action News.